Welcome to the Hong Kong Innovation Node. My name is Richard Lester. I serve MIT as Associate Provost with responsibility for our activities around the world. And on behalf of the entire MIT community, I want to welcome all of you to this uh, grand opening. And of course, we're greatly honored to have with us uh, Chief Executive uh, Mrs. Lam. And thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate uh, it, it very much. I also want to introduce my MIT colleagues who are uh, here. Chancellor Eric Grimson, um, if, you would, if you would stand, please. <laughs> Associate Dean for Innovation, Professor Vladimir Bulovich. Vladimir co-leads the MIT Innovation Initiative, which is the organizational home at MIT for the uh, Innovation Node. And finally, Node Faculty Director, Professor Charlie Sobini. <laughs> and Charlie's vision and dedication are so critical uh, to the Node's progress. Now we're here, of course, to celebrate the opening of this exciting new space, and Brian uh, told us a little bit about it. And here in Hong Kong, perhaps more than anywhere else in the world, uh, space is indeed something to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> and for MIT too, this space is something special. A physical home away from home that for us is unique in the world, the only place outside Massachusetts, where MIT has put its name on the door. But more than physical space, what the node is really about is people. It's about bringing people with ideas and imagination and energy together, and about building connections between them, even when they're separated by uh, 8,000 miles. Now, people will see the MIT name on the wall uh, outside, and we hope that perhaps one day they may even be allowed to see the MIT name on the street outside. <laughs> <laughs> and some might imagine that when they walk inside, they'll find everything at MIT uh, here, right here in this space. But no, they won't see Killian Court, they won't see the great MIT dome, they won't see the Koch Cancer Research Center, they won't see 11,000 of the world's most talented young people. They won't see the 85 or so activities at MIT that support the innovation and entrepreneurship of uh, these students. Not even in miniature will they see these things, like uh, a ship in a bottle. But if they look carefully, if they look carefully, what they will see are snippets of MIT DNA. A culture of commitment to excellence in education, a culture of commitment to challenging our students to believe that they can solve really difficult and important problems, and a culture of commitment to having an impact on the world through our education, research, and innovation. And what they will also see, if they look carefully, is the physical embodiment of an idea that has been percolating for some time at MIT and that is now very much alive. A conviction that this is a part of the world that is very important to the future of research and education and to the future of innovation. That, like MIT itself, this is a part of the world where the future will be invented. A part of the world that is therefore also important to the future of MIT. So important that we want our students and our faculty to be able to connect to it uh, readily. So that they can learn and work here effectively. So that they can build collaborations with students and entrepreneurs here in Hong Kong. And in the greater uh, Bay Area more generally and so that they can bring their energy and creativity to this unfamiliar place with unimagined possibilities and do remarkable things. And so when we look at the node, 
we should look not only at what's going on inside its walls, but also at the connections it's helping to make between MIT and our partners and collaborators here in the region. That's why we call it the Node. People, some people smile when they hear that name. Oh, those MIT engineers. And it is a pretty nerdy name. <laughs> but it's also a pretty good name. Because like a new node in any network, the most important thing this node will do is to open up new conduits and new possibilities for people who want to connect, communicate, and collaborate with each other. So judge the node not only by what goes on in this small space, but also by the connections that it enables, by the partnerships that it helps to foster, and finally, by the signal that it sends that the MIT community is committed to working and collaborating in this region for the long term. Yesterday, my colleague, Professor Bulovich, in a wonderful talk here at the Node, observed that many of the most consequential innovations, while sometimes they seem to materialize almost overnight, have actually taken decades to go from the first creative idea, from the moment the first person says, what if we could do this, to actually having an impact at scale. At MIT, we measure our performance by having such impacts for our education and research and innovations. And we, too, have time horizons that we measure in decades. That's the typical length of our graduates' careers. And it's also how long it has taken for MIT itself to become what it is today. And as we open the node here this afternoon, we know that this is a part of the world where strategic patience is also highly prized. And so I want to take advantage of this opportunity to thank the alumni and friends of MIT, uh, MIT who are here and some who can't be here today, some of whom are recognized on the wall outside, and whose generosity, dedication, and wisdom have been so vital to the creation of the node. We know that just as we at MIT are committed here for the long term, your commitment to MIT is also <coughs> for the long term. Charlie Savini will have a little more to say about this in a few minutes. Here, I simply want to say that we are enormously grateful, enormously grateful for your generosity and that we're counting on you for your continued advice, guidance, wisdom, and support. And may I also say that we look forward to the support of the government of the SAR and to continuing to work with the extraordinary Hong Kong universities and their faculty and their students, the Hong Kong Productivity Center, our hosts, the Science Park, and many others here in the Hong Kong community. So again, to all of you, welcome to this little corner of MIT. Measured in floor area, for those of you who like numbers, it is 0.05% of the MIT campus. <laughs>